Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Oh, the flowers? Oh, they were for my wife for her birthday. No, 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 they weren't from me. I actually took her to go meet sloths. This guy knows how to please a lady. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. What we are here to talk about today is that last week I got to go to a Samsung event in Toronto for the Galaxy AI reveal. So the good news is I actually got to get my hands on the Samsung Galaxy S24 series. But the bad news is that I don't have a lot of information on the phones themselves like the specs because this was really about Galaxy AI. But the good news is past me was wrong. Hi, Editor Joe here. So while I was putting this video together, Samsung actually sent along the specs. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to compare the S23 Ultra and the S24 Ultra just by putting those specs up on the side. You're going to notice a lot of incremental hardware updates. So basically just going to the next generation chipset and things like that. The cameras are virtually identical. The only thing you're going to notice is a difference in the periscope telephoto lens. The S24 Ultra has moved into a 50 megapixel resolution, whereas the S23 Ultra was just 10. But you're losing out a little bit on that as well because the S24 Ultra actually has a five times optical zoom, whereas the S23 Ultra had 10. So I'll just wait a moment so you guys can read between the two things. Oh wait, I guess you could pause, right? So you pause and do that. We're going to go on. But time to roll back into the good news because there's a lot to talk about with the Galaxy AI. Let's get started. So the first thing that they had to show me was their updated voice recorder. The new voice recorder comes with transcription and this is where the AI comes in. It's able to separate out the dialogue of multiple speakers. It will actually recognize each individual voice and then separate all of that individual dialogue. So if you're doing an interview, listening to a lecture or doing anything like that, you're going to have some really well organized transcripts. As someone who does a lot of interviews and actually has to put this stuff to written word after the fact, this is going to be a game changer for me. And that's not the only time that Galaxy AI is going to be working with your voice. We've seen a lot of translator tools that exist on phones or in little earbuds or things like that, but those are all usually meant for interpersonal communication, like talking face to face. But Samsung said, hold my... I don't know what Samsung drinks, but they asked someone to hold it so they can make an AI tool that'll let you do that translation over the phone, not next to each other. Now, I saw this demonstrated in person and it's super cool. Basically, before you start the conversation, you just have to activate it. Make sure you have the right translation language selected. And then all you have to do is talk into the phone. It's going to translate your language, in this case, English, into whatever language you chose and then deliver that translated audio to the other phone. And it doesn't matter if it's a Samsung or not. Then when they speak back in their native language, it's going to translate into your language again, English, and then not only deliver you the audio in English, but then actually deliver on your phone the text in both English and the native language. The Samsung reps did say that you can also use this tool without making phone calls. So if you are in that face to face conversation situation, like you're asking where the bathroom is, you can just use your phone and not ask the person to leave and call you. Now you get into the Galaxy AI tools for your phone's camera. The first camera feature I want to talk about, which might be my favorite feature is circle and find. And what Circle and Find does, it allows you to use your camera or just basically any image on your phone and create a very special search. And this is a lot more specific than when you use Google Lens. You got to open up the app and then you got to find the thing and it just looks at the whole picture. Then Google figures out what in the image it is you wanted to search for and then searches for it. Circle and Find lets you just put your lens on something. Then you just hold down the home key and it goes into the Circle and Find mode. Then you can either use your stylus or your finger, circle what in the photo you exactly want to search, and then it searches it. So at this specific event they were actually at Ripley's Aquarium in Toronto and what they had us do is using the phones we would take pictures of the aquarium circle specific fish and then it would look up that fish. One rep even had us do this with his shoes so we took the picture circled the shoes it looked up the shoes and then in the little search bracket you actually typed in blue and it changed the color of the shoe. So now we're searching for that shoe just in a different color. And Circle and Find goes well beyond just what you can see in front of you right now. You can use this on old photos. You could even be using this on streaming video. You're watching Netflix and you say, hey, who's that actor? Hold down the home screen, circle their face, and then it's going to search who it is. Heck, you could even do it with a YouTube video. The Galaxy AI photo editing has also taken a major leap from the previous Samsung photo editing. You'll see some similarities to the tool if you look at like the Google Pixel 8 commercial, for example. But seeing the UI firsthand with the Samsung Galaxy AI, it was so sharp. Basically, all you have to do is take a picture, you put it into AI mode, which makes it an AI photo. And then from there, every element of the photo is movable, changeable, whatever you want to do. The example that they showed us at the event was again at the aquarium. So they took a picture of a bunch of fish. They took one fish and they blew it up and then they moved it and changed its angle. So it looked like it was kind of like being aggressive on the other fish. I don't know why that was the rep's thing, but it was. And it was really cool. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not a huge fan of editing my photos. I like to take a picture and actually capture a moment. But if you're using 
taking your photo to just take fun pictures or more artistic pictures, then you can go to town. You might be taking a picture at a wedding and the entire wedding party is there, but one groomsman's just standing a little too far off. Maybe he's got a thing for the bride, who knows? Now you can take that, click on that guy and just move him back over so he's kind of in line with everybody else. And as of right now, the AI has no solution for this fictitious man's theoretical crush on the bride. Low light photography is always a really big deal with phones nowadays. And the Samsung Galaxy AI's nightography was really cool. So we know with the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, you have up to 100 times zoom. That's the same with the Galaxy S24 Ultra. And so the demonstration that we saw, they actually zoomed in 37 times onto a fish in this one really dark aquarium. And they got a really nice shot. It was super clear. But what was really interesting was then they got out an iPhone 15 Pro Max, took a similar photo, a similar zoom with the night mode on as well. But then they actually showed us side by side the two photos that they took on each phone. And it was absolutely no contest that the S24 Ultra was the better photo. The next feature is one that I didn't even know I needed until I saw it. You ever had that thing where you're trying to figure out whether or not you want to take a slow-mo picture or something like that? Me, for example, let's say I want to watch my kid jump off of a diving board. I'm sitting there, I'm trying to set it up, do whatever. By the time I turn it on, he jumps. The timing's all wrong, the slow-mo doesn't work. Or I've been fumbling around too much and he jumped off the diving board before I was even ready. There's got to be a better way. This is where the Galaxy AI slow-mo comes in. Now all you have to do is take any video, put your thumb down on it, and it plays it in smooth slow motion. The AI smooths it out by kind of adding frames or doing whatever it needs to be doing. And if you're happy with how the slow-mo looked, you can save that video. Now you have a slow-mo version of the video and a regular speed version of the video. It was really cool to see how smooth the slow-mo really was because, you know, if you want to do slow-mo, you usually have to set for a higher frame rate. This was just set at a normal frame rate. I believe they were doing it at 60 frames a second. And the last feature is one that already exists on Samsung phones, but it's a more improved version of it. It's the AI single take mode. So anyone who's actually familiar with the single take mode, you know, you just get out your phone, you set up the single take, you hold down the button, and then you just kind of move around and you capture what you can. Say you're at a kid's soccer game and you're following them around and you're doing that. Or maybe your nephew's over there and you go get a shot of him too. And once that time's up, it processes and it gives you a bunch of different elements and it could be any sorts of things. Filtered photos, slow-mo video, boomerang video. It does a really good job at actually finding and kind of framing the perfect photos for you and still offers you the 10 seconds seconds as the original video. Then from there, you can pick from any of those elements and save them as you please. Now, to be really honest, the AI version of this isn't really that much different. It delivers all the exact same things, at least from what I saw. But I did find over several demonstrations that it consistently delivered better elements overall. So where Galaxy AI is really coming into play for that one is really just taking that time to figure out and understand what makes the best framed photo or the best video or anything like that. But let me know down in the comments, what are your thoughts on Samsung's Galaxy AI? What features are you most excited for? Which ones are you going to get the most use out of? And while you're down there, or if you're just not willing to scroll that far down, scroll just a little bit down, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and make sure to hit the bell so you know when I got new videos coming out. I'll be sure to deliver more news on the Samsung Galaxy S24 series as we get it. But for now, we're going to leave you at that. So why don't you check out these videos? So this is actually the only other phone video I've got right now. And this one, we're going to just get this one recommended for you. Whatever the YouTube gods think you should be watching, that's that one, so you can click on that. Until next time, gang, let's get to work.